So, guten Abend. Hallo, hier aus den Good evening, dear colleagues here from ja, Munich. Ohne Umschweife darf ich den And uh, I would like to ask our head coach his opinion after this thrilling game, please. Well, this was one of the most difficult matches in general, but uh, this was clear beforehand. We expected that they can bring their opponents to desperation with their defensive lineup, with entering the duels, with closing down spaces. There won't be a lot of spaces, that was clear before, and if you then fell behind and that even twice, then it's uh, very difficult to turn the match around. We didn't find a lot of spaces uh, tonight, didn't open up enough spaces in their defensive defense, so it was uh, great mentality and good moral, good spirit. We didn't give up and didn't go crazy after falling behind and uh, after scoring the equalizer we attack, continue to attack, but the character and personality that uh, my team showed was perfect. Well, you have to suffer in a tournament, you know that from your experience. Can this maybe be something like 2014, a moment as uh, the match against Algeria? that you take extra motivation out of such a match. Well, we committed some mistakes, we gave away too many balls, especially when we conceded the goals, and this shouldn't happen again in our next matches, the next match. So that uh, you will have resistance in this group, this was clear beforehand. Just look at the teams. This was uh, the group of death. And we managed to achieve uh, the second spot and now we travel to England. It's uh, great news to play in London at Wembley against England. And so group stage is over and now we have to focus. And it's uh, in or out now. It's a good situation. Our performance uh, so far haven't been so well, but if we show what we can, as we did against Portugal for a long spell, then we can be a strong opponent, and if we don't manage to do that, then we will get her into difficulties. Congratulations, Mr. Löw. You said uh, some mistakes. How much are you worried that it won't uh, work out to yeah, have a turnaround until Tuesday? Well, I'm not really worried. It's a totally different match. Hungary, they will be, they will be parked the bus with everyone behind the ball entering every duel and against England this is going to be a totally different uh, match they play at home they want to attack it's going to be an open match more open than it was tonight so we need to improve on things we are aware of that and need to be need to take care and be careful especially at set pieces we can't repeat the same mistakes again we need to do things better here but ahead of the match against England as I said it's a different one and uh, we're looking forward to it Mr. Löw, how would you judge the performance of Leroy Zane, who started, who was a starter? Well, both uh, wingers actually weren't so much in the game, but I told the team before that we have to find other ways, other spaces, more through the middle with three players in the center. 
that we will have more opportunities then because uh, Hungary with a back five and three defensive midfielders then it's obviously difficult to break through because it's a system that you need to be quick there are there weren't free spaces also for the wing players the wingers so that's why we played more through the middle it was easier but we didn't really find the right spaces even in the in the middle everything was closed down and after uh, they took a little the lead they defended even more so it was difficult and so for Lero Sané and Gosens they couldn't contribute so much as they did against the Portugal Matthias Dersch please Mr. Löw, in the second half you did some substitutions. Can you tell us the idea behind it? Well, in the second half, well, we put Lero more to the right, entering more duels, so to break through with his speed, but uh, it didn't work out as well, so that's why we had to make some changes. We brought in Thomas Müller, Leron Goretzka, just to have players in the half positions, fresh new players, and players like Goretzka and Müller, who also go behind the defensive line and show presence in the box. So, uh, and around the 80th minute, we had to take full risk. This was planned 10 minutes before the end that we will throw in everything um, of our offensive power that we have with Timo Werner on the left instead of Gosens. So for Werner to be quick maybe and to manage to break through and Musiala and Folland, they also throw in everything, threw in everything and Musiala had some good spells so you could see his qualities so at half time we changed a little bit with Kimmich putting him more uh, between the lines and Zane very far to the right to make it in duels to break uh, through the Hungarian defense but they closed these spaces down as well Mr. Löw it was six minutes before the end you were out. Did you think about it, that it could have been your last game as the head coach? Well, no, I haven't thought about that. There were other things that I had to take care of regarding the match. So, I didn't have any time to think about what could be, but the moral, the spirit and the attitude that we showed, the power that we showed, I really liked that. So that's why we always had the feeling from the outside that we could score a goal. But uh, if it's getting late, we said that at halftime we have to be faster in our combination play, but not, lo not losing our nerves and not trying to attack without uh, oh, not structured enough so I had the feeling we had the feeling that they wanted to turn around the, the match with all they can throw in to make it into the next round and passing this group stage so we had the feeling that something can happen Raphael Honigstein next please Mr. Löw, in the second half, you changed not only you exchanged not only players but also tactically. You played a back four, and then a back three. Did you have the feeling that the team was a bit confused uh, because of all these substitutions, changes? No, no, I didn't have that feeling. We did tactical tweaks. We needed to do that just because after the first half um, we weren't so effective. 
in uh, the final third so it was logical and especially after falling falling behind that we would put in and throw in all our attacking power that we have so this was obvious we didn't have to tweak too much tactically from the 70th or 75th minutes but with power and with all we had we had to try to fight fight for every ball and just to bring balls into the box and be present in the box with as many players as possible and when we scored the second one we were four or five players in the box so this caused uh, some disorder in the defense in defense of our opponents so this was our objective to fight to throw everything in and uh, yeah because we we can't then be just positioned in our basic uh, system Mr. Goretzka was said that he was not uh, fit enough, but with his goal today, uh, he was very important. So, do you think that he will be a starter? Leon Goretzka? Yes. Well, Leon, before the match, I talked to him and I told him that after six weeks of a break, it's not so easy to start a match, especially if you then as a coach, you plan with the certain players. And I told him that it's good to maybe take the next step, give him 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 35 minutes or 40 minutes or bring him on after the first half. This is going to help him, and this is what happened. This will motivate him, this goal he scored. And uh, I told him, of course, Leon is a very important player for us, a key player he in, in defending and also in attacking. So thank you very much to our head coach. We'll just wait for our star of the mid match. We'll be back soon.